And listen, we've gotten so many calls from concerned viewers about looking into COVID-19's potential impacts on the power grid. Is there an increase and in a possibility unattainable demand for electricity right now, especially with so many of us and our children's and our families staying home? Our Seth Kovar is working from home and he got us some answers. Welcome to my new office for the foreseeable future. Countless people are doing just this, working from home. It has its advantages and it keeps us away from infected people, but is it putting a strain on the power grid? Flipping on the lights and firing up the computer. The start to another day in this age of coronavirus. I've never witnessed anything like this in my life. COVID-19 is taking lives, but it's also disrupting so many more. And with so many concerns about the virus, we've been hearing one in particular more often recently. Can the power grid keep up with all this working from home? I don't see how people staying home is going to use up more electricity and more power to where we can't, we don't have any more. I don't, I don't see it. Robert Cisneros agrees with him. We just happened to run into the constable for Nueces County Precinct 1, taking a break along the seawall. Well, I don't see the correlation between using too much power at home as opposed to using it at work. Whether they're right or not, we don't know yet. ERCOT, the group that maintains the state's power grid, released a statement today. It read in parts, we are monitoring any changes to ERCOT's load. However, it is too early to determine COVID-19's impact on electric load patterns. The statement went on to say that if they find a spike in electricity demand, they'll reveal it in a report in May. That would be concerning, yeah. I mean, especially the way it's Everybody's freaking out. The freak out would amplify if the power went out. Something people fear could happen if too many ERCOT workers got sick at the same time. But ERCOT is going to great lengths to keep its workers healthy. They're even checking workers for fever before they can enter any ERCOT building. If that's not enough to ease your concerns, try this. Keep up your spirits. Keep doing what you're doing. Seems like we're on the right track. And go outside. Enjoy God's creation. Some more ways that ERCOT's trying to keep their workers healthy. They're changing which control room they use. They're wiping down surfaces in between shifts. And like me, if the worker doesn't have to be on site to do their job, they're working from home. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.